What's up? My name is Technoba here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In this fun little video, I'll be showing you how you can enable Discord rich presence for Adobe Premiere Pro, Adobe Audition, and a bunch of other Adobe bits of software. It's an open source project and works really well. In the description down below, you'll find a link to LollyT Adobe Discord RPC. This is the project that I'm talking about and down here are the supported platforms. After Effects, Photoshop, Premiere Pro, Audition, Illustrator, Animate, Prelude, Dreammover, InDesign, and InCopy. It doesn't support Media Encoder, Acrobat, and Premiere Rush. These three you probably won't be using anywhere. Maybe Adobe Rush on mobile, but these other two, I don't think it's too important to show people what you're doing. The rest of these may be rather fun. So how exactly do we get this to happen inside of our Discord? Well, it's really simple. First of all, head across to this GitHub page in the description down below. Scroll down until you see this huge text over here and either click the link or you can click on the right hand side here, the releases header. By doing so, you'll be taken across to the releases page here. Look for the latest release, scroll down, and then you'll be downloading the zip or the ZXP file. If you've ever installed ZXP plugins before, you can use this option here. If you'd like to manually install it using the zip, use this button here. The ZXP is the simplest by far, so I'll be showing you that now. If you haven't already done so, go ahead and download ZXP installer, which you'll find in the description down below, zxpinstaller.com. Click download for Windows and open up the installer when it's done. Of course, if you're on Mac, use that button instead. When it opens up, wait for it to install and it'll open up as such with an icon on your desktop. Awesome. All we have to do is drag the ZXP file that we can download off of GitHub here by clicking ZXP straight into the program here. When you've done so, you'll be prompted for admin and upon clicking yes, the plugin will actually install. Once it's done, all you have to do is restart the Adobe software you're using. I can close out of the ZXP installer and fire up, say, Premiere Pro. Simply firing up a Premiere Pro and even staying on the projects page over here, you can see playing Premiere Pro. Clicking it, it says Premiere Pro Untitled PR Proj, no active sequence, time elapsed. If I head into here and open up, say, the video project that I use for creating videos here, you'll see inside of Discord it now says Premiere Pro TC2201, which is the project file here, .PR Proj, and the sequence that I'm currently in. In my case, Dual Monitor Tools 25. Super simple. It's got time, and that's really about it for the plugin. If we head up to Window, then Extensions, you'll see Discord Rich Presence. Upon opening it up, we'll have some customization, although very limited for the plugin. Details, State, Small Icon, Time Enabled, and an option to go to the GitHub. Clicking the Settings wheel down here simply opens up a new window where you can force reconnect, restart panel, or you can reinstall either of the extensions over here or update it. Super simple. You can customize it and get a live preview here, and it works really well. If we close out of this, how exactly do we uninstall it? Simply hold Start and press E to bring up a new file browser, and inside of here we'll be opening C, Program Files x86, then we're looking for Common Files, then Adobe, CEP, Extensions, and inside of here we're looking for com.discord.rpc.t. These are the plugin files in here, all we have to do is delete the com discord rpct file and we'll no longer have discord rich presence. It's as simple as that. But anyways, that's really about it for this quick video. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Techno over here for Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.